But uh, we have five in a row. Let's see what the next random ship is. Here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. Okay, Slug B, baby. Slug B, one of my least favorites. Although if we can just get a clone bay, maybe it won't be too terrible. Um, I don't think I have any slug requests, do I? Pretty sure I don't have any recent slug requests that I haven't gotten caught up on. Oh snap, I know. Oh snap, this ship. Slug C shenanigans? You were close, you were close. I watched FTL. If you ever have a boring human left on your final run, cry please be him manning the non-manable artillery and be called not Hans. Sure, I will totally not forget all of that stuff. Wham Bam Bola. All right. Um, I guess you want to be pilot, huh? Wham Bam Bola. Uh, okay. Magmar to Yoinkster. Okay. Yoinkster. And then Cantonum's got the last one. Okay. Look at this merry band of misfits. So Slugby is not my favorite ship. Uh, because... For those who don't know this ship, it's a boarding ship with no healer clone bay. And it has only missiles for offense, and those two things are very annoying. You're ready to be vented. Uh, you're already too late, Diamond Hand. Sorry, remind me if we get another crew. Let's get the, um... Oh, good. Somebody did the prediction. Thank you, Ramses or whoever did it. Appreciate it. Uh, you got a soft spot for Slugby? It's fun when you get a fourth system over a medical unit. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're... The goal... The goal for this ship, as I watch FTL has convinced me, makes the ship not terrible, is finding an early store with Clone Bay just makes this not a not a terrible boarding ship. So, Sector 1 store... Oh, man. Okay, that actually is a terrible start. If that's my only store in Sector 1... Can I even sell Artemis and Slug... Or Hill Bay and Slug Repair to get Clone Bay? Because I can't even backtrack, can I? One, two, three, four. That would be diving. Is that a good start? Gel plus heal equals exactly 50? Okay. All right, so if there is clone bay, then that's what we're doing. We get clone bay. In general, do I prefer heal or clone bay for boarding ships? Clone bay is just objectively better. Damn. Now I don't know what to do. Do I sell those two? No, I can't sell heal, heal, bomb, and slug repair gel and get second shield. I can't do that. Do I do what we talked about and just get heal bay instead? Because then I have to use heal bay. You like the reason you like an early store is immediate shields buffer, which you take over clone bay, huh? So you're selling slug repair gel to get. Shield buffer. Guess we could do that. To prefer heal bay on Lania ships. I, they don't start with that, and I usually am not going to spend the scrap to make that swap, so no. Well, we always sell this. The question is if I sell heal bomb to get med bay. You like gel a lot, but you like not dying better. How is a ship supposed to fight auto scouts? Uh, you kill it with a harness and run out of missiles. That's the other issue with this ship. Your missiles are both your healing and they're your way to kill ships. This ship sucks. Sometimes you take medbay, then switch to clone bay later, which you know is a terrible play. Yeah, it's, that's a hundred scrap invested in that. I think I'm gonna do what Mike Copley says and just do this, because it leaves us open to still find a clone bay protect, potentially. I really don't want to buy a heal bay. I don't want to run out of missiles either, but... Buying an immediate clone bay or med bay is also a reasonable decision. Yeah. Alright, this is a good ship. He's only got a bomb and a single laser. Um, what are we boarding into? An NG and a rock. Okay, so... We board onto the NG. 2v1 him while the rock takes a year to walk across the ship. And then this should just be a one fight here, I think. Don't think I hear a fire there, just in case. 
Practice dolphin flip real quick. Alright, good good first ship. I think I do hear a fire in there actually. If I if all of my sector one ships could be that, that would be great. That would be a great. A single small bomb and a single basic laser, not on an auto scout. That would be lovely. And we even got did we get some missiles back or did I just I didn't use any missiles? Okay, nice. Um we have twenty-five to start, hopefully enough for sector one. Twenty-five what? Scrap you're talking about? Well, we get our instant shield, so, you know. We can now train if we get a training ship fight. So that's good, at least. Oh, 25 missiles. That's what you're talking about. Gotcha. 25 missiles is not that much if you fight a bunch of auto scouts and you have to use four to five missiles per fight. It's not actually that much. Oh, damn it. Okay, uh, three crew, same weapons, what's his drones, it's a combat drone, okay, I think that means, okay, let me do this, okay, oh Jesus, he has, he bombed my shields. Okay, that, he, does, he doesn't have this. Okay, that's good. Let me do this. Fuck you, FTL. Fuck you. <sighs> God damn it. I'm gonna have to use a lot of missiles this fight. I better not. He's gonna do that again, isn't he? Yeah, there it is. That pulls him. Okay, alright. Should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, we got two missiles back. Annoying fight. We didn't actually take any damage, but that was one extra missile that we probably wouldn't have had to use if he didn't block it with his damn face. Uh, safety dance means this fight can be won just by two slugs if necessary. Okay. Yeah, I didn't safety dance. I was worried about missile plus offensive drones, so I had other stuff I was worried about. The other problem with playing freaking no pause is I can't do all the micro all at the same time. We lost a damn jump from that stupid looking for the rebel ship bullshit. Do I want to get power right now? If that makes me not able to get clone bay, I would be very sad. I'm going to do that. Does a single heal bomb always fully heal any crew, including rocks? Yes, it does. God, a fucking Pulsar Rebel Rigger Beam Drone Ship. <sighs> okay, um... I think I need to depower shields right as the Pulsar goes off. He has an offensive drone, I need to missile his drones. I could easily lose crew on this fight. Combat drone. Okay, I need to, I need to say, oh, what the, oh, I didn't save their positions, fuck me. You what? shitty fucking game. I didn't wait for that guy to get there, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. It hit my weapons and not his fucking weapons, I fucking hate this game. I'm, I'm misplaying, that was a fucking misplay right there. I need to buy time. I need to run around a bit here. Okay, my teleporter didn't go down. Okay, I am... Oh, Jesus Christ. Get me the fuck out. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Uh, His weapons are back up. Fuck you, FTL. Fucking hell, man. If I do this, they'll stop repairing stuff. Okay, I think we're okay. 
Maybe. Uh... Okay, they don't dodge. We're fine. We're fine. Gotta use so many missiles that fight. Ah, uh, what a goddamn annoying fight this was. Offensive drone, beam drone, three crew, and a goddamn pulsar. What an annoying goddamn fight. Just kill him. Wow, that is the best suggestion I've ever heard. I should learn how to do that. That's a very useful, very useful suggestion. Hey, Rand, you should just win. Just win. I don't know why everybody has such a hard time with FTL. You just need to win. I'm going to heal my dudes before I leave. Yeah, Pulsars are the dumbest event apart from free shield hack. Just buy a house. Don't get triggered. Uh, I am going to get triggered when people backseat me and say things like, just do X. That is always going to trigger me. So, uh, that is always going to trigger me. Just win. Just get free health care. Just buy a house. All right. I'll, I'm sorry, chat. I'll try to do better at that. I'll try to do better. Okay, don't, you don't need to call names in chat. Don't call names, please. No need to call people names. <sighs> okay, this ship stresses me the hell out. I don't have a clone bay for this. Just win the lottery, it's right. So easy. Ah, <sighs> freaking Rebel Riggers. Is this a safe fight at least? To save fight him, he has either a repair drone or an anti-personnel drone in there, so we can at least train. Let's train. Let's train while I de-stress from that goddamn pulsar that stressed me the hell out. That stressed me the hell out, man. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to board and kill this guy. I might be able to if I Artemis is drone control if it's a what you call it, an anti personnel drone. I'm gonna board before I missile because I want to pull this pilot so he's less likely to dodge and I don't have to use as many missiles. Is anti personnel we just need to missile it? Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to have four drone power. But if he has anti personnel and a repair, that would be the worst. I don't know if that's possible or not, though. Okay, my hotkey is not working. Hold on a second. My hotkey to. What the frick? Speed hack is off. And my game is still going fast. Has anybody seen this before? My speed hack is off. And it's still super speed. What the actual F is happening here? Did my game just break? I have two cheat engines open. Holy crap. Okay, I did not know I had done that. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, apparently you can have two cheat engines on. All right, uh, I was thinking about cross-training. Now I'm worried. Because, okay. All right, did I... Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. I thought I'd just broken my game. I don't know why one was minimized. That scared the hell out of me. Okay, let's uh, let's let's do some cross training here. I know tech support. Thank you. I watch FTL. <laughs> Hard mode, no pause, very fast. Yeah, new strats, double cheats. That's right. Okay, now my button's working. Whew. 
Does it go double double speed if you run two? It actually did seem like it was going faster, so it might have actually gone double fast there. Yeah, hyper double no pause. Mike is certain there is anti-personnel. Um, it's either AP plus repair or double repair. Actually, no, it has to be AP. Okay. So the plan is to use safety dance. Let's get all of them fully trained. Why not? This ship sucks, and I want to give myself all the bonuses we can. So we board and try to use... Can we even pull the pilot by using safety dance when there's a anti-personnel drone? I don't even know if I can pull the pilot. Uh, Mike Copley is trying to use this as a learning moment, I guess. Thing, what can chat tell me optimal play? Can you tell me? Oh, it's optimal play with pause. Okay. Triple board safety dance or something, you think? I assume I need the board weapons, safety dance, at least pull engines or piloting guy. Actually, I, th mm, I don't know who I'm going to be able to pull. Missile the drone control, and then safety dance to like the third guy over there, maybe. Okay. Let me close this. Still haven't saved these guys in their correct positions like a stupid person. Come on, get over here. Alright, save these positions. That's not the play. Off the play a single board and punch down all of their drones, then all of their crew, taking no crew damage and therefore using no missiles. Alright, I don't know how to do that. Uh, that sounds like you can only do that with pausing. What the heck? game. Frickin' Neo over here. Frickin' Neo! <sighs> he dodges my heal bomb, I'm effing screwed, by the way. Okay, there it is. Go here. Get you over here. Okay. <sighs> what did I take, like, fucking five, four, five missiles with double dodges? Bullshit game. Hey, remember how 25 missiles is lots of missiles chat, remember? We start with 25, it's so many. 25 is goddamn nothing when it's your offense and your healing. 25 missiles is frickin' nothing. Ship is so stupid, it really is really stupid. Aldheim, you're going to be trying the ship on hard mode with pause. Is there an argument to skip heal or clumbay if we have half decent weapons and greed for more systems? I'm, I'm sorry. My answer is going to be the same as it always is, Aldheim. It depends. What are your weapons? How many crew have you got? What kind of systems are we talking about? It depends. In general, on this ship, I think you want to go clumbay and just board. But it depends on what your other options are. Or maybe somebody in chat can give you a better, better answer than that. I'm too stressed out to give you good answers right now. Hollow once got reconstructed teleporter first jump, and that was an interesting run. Nice. This was not a good sector one. We got second shield. We used a lot of missiles, and we did not... Get a heal bay or any free stuff from our boarding. Ugh. Now we have a forced uncharted nebula with shitty boarding ship. Uh, if we go uncharted nebula and have either a bunch of empty jumps or a bunch of auto scouts, this is a nightmare. Oh, this is a nightmare. Subscribe. Shogi, thank you for 79 months in a row, sir. If your math is correct, you've been here since 1943. <laughs> Sounds right to me. All right, please give me clone bay, then I can board auto scouts. Clone bay, okay. 
Okay, we have a clone bay. We have a clone bay. Can I sell heal bomb to get long range? Almost. I wonder if it'd be worth coming back for that. Now we can board auto scouts. Right? I think we can. How are the hands? They're fine. My brain is the thing that's stressed out right now. Okay. Am I saved in position correctly here? I'm going to hold on the heal bomb because unless I'm selling it to buy long range skinners or something, I might come back for the long range scanners. Maybe I'd come back for something to get through Zelda Shield, though. There's also hacking here. All right, we're going to give ourselves the option of coming back potentially. You're going to lurk. Best of luck with the banging ship. All right, appreciate it. I watch FTL. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Um, where do I want to put you? Dodging, weapon charging, or shields? Probably weapon charging here. I go one, two, three. Close. I don't know if I can though. Um, Schmierwurst. You want me to name the Zoltan Schmierwurst? Okay. I have no idea what that means. Sure. Although I had other requests earlier. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna rename that one because I have like four other ones I gotta get back. What was it? Can I be Zinzin Zin from Avi? I'm going to start with Avi's. And then I think I had one other that I was for the slugs after it had already been renamed. So I'll maybe eventually get that one in. Uh, he's going to have his flak online, isn't he? Pull this guy out of here, actually. Oh, why did I... What the hell, man? What the actual fuck? Oh, I'm making so many misplays. I misaimed. I meant to hit weapons, not piloting. God damn it. Okay, now we're safe, at least. God damn it. So many misplays right now. I'm just a miss... I'm stressed out about this stupid effing shit, man. Six missiles. No. Oh, we're killing this guy. Just miss microing all the time. Oh, I was wondering why that guy didn't go back. Uh, I killed his teleporter. Actually. I actually didn't need to refresh you, but now I'm going to because... I messed up. All right, I need to I need to focus up here. Stop making little micro misplays. It's been a while since I played a boarding ship on hard no pause, and I'm making a lot of stupid little misplays, man. You're not gonna lie, you forgot I got clone bay. Okay. Thankfully, I did not forget. I thought I was just about sack crew. Well, that would be a really bad play. Thankfully, I'm not that stupid or bad at the game yet. Thankfully. Didn't make that play yet. Alright, do I go back to the store and buy something? The only thing I could really afford is long range scanners. I'm gonna go buy long range scanners in a nebula. I think it's worth. Unless I can sell a heal bomb for something else. 65. I could get an ion bomb. No Zoltan Shield Bypass. Should I buy Ion Bomb for Zoltan Shields? Is that better? 
I really want to buy long range scanners, but I kind of think it might actually be better to get ion bomb for Zoltan shield boarding. Still slow. Where's Sleeping Dragon? He's the one who likes Ion Bomb so much. I'm curious how how good he would think Ion Bomb is here. I'll need missiles either way. You like Ion Bomb, but it's not that necessary with Artemis, you don't think? How badly do I want to get long range scanners? Delays me getting hacking, potentially. I'm gonna get that in hopes that it gets me enough scrap to... ...get my hacking quicker. Do you like Ion Bomb with your missile count? And Artemis, you think it's too lateral. Your preference for dealing with Zoltan Shields is just to get a really cheap Ion Blast or something. That's not available. No. Warn of my passing, and he has mind control, so he's gonna mind control my dude. Okay, this guy can't damage us, so we can kill him. If I can kill his piloting. Play every time. I'm just gonna let him do that, because he's gonna do that and repair it over and over. Don't have level two. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A little worried I might have to send this guy over there, though. I think I'm... Mm, depends on how quickly he can repair. How quickly do you repair your piloting is the question. I might have to send the pilot over. I'm going to be ready to if I need to. Red Rover, Red Rover, said pilot right over. Okay, looks like I don't need to. Uh, eh. Okay, I think I'm gonna missile his engines. I'm a little worried about him running away with my crew or something here. Let's use one missile. Fuck you, FTL. Fucking hell, man. Ah, <sighs> level three. Uh... I might have to use a second missile. Not gonna take chances. Okay. Am I gonna kill that? Nice, nice. Okay, good. I'm losing a bunch of training here. Not ideal. But we don't. We only use one missile and get crappy rewards. Just realize this is a freaking running away auto scout. So we're gonna get like seven scrap or some BS low reward. It's not even worth all the training we lost, probably. Nine scrap. Jesus. Is that is that minimum for sector two? That feels really minimum. If you run with their clone bay, clone bay won't clone them. No, no, you can't clone your your crew because it's against the Geneva, Geneva Convention or some other stupid video game reason. You're not allowed to clone crew who aren't dead, even if they're. They have a plague that will eventually kill them. You can't kill them. Because video game reasons. Okay, half-power nebula. Ugh. I'm gonna do that. I know. Congratulations. We got nine scrap for you dying over and over and over and over and over and over again. Wasn't it worth it? You know, if there's an airless ship and gasping their last as the ship jumps away, yeah. Seven is minimum scrap. Scrap brackets are the same in Sector 1 and 2, okay. Okay, can you please not have a combat drone? God damn it. Okay, um, well maybe that's good. Maybe that means... We can do... 
safety dance. Don't have to worry about anti-personnel, so maybe this is actually better. Um, I'm actually a little worried about this right now. Let me do this. Okay, good. Whew, one health. Almost let him die. I was worried about a triple hit and then mini beam into my clone bait. Because you know if it was possible, it was going to happen. You know it's po if it's possible, FTL's going to screw you that way. Okay. Like, triple hit with combat drone into clone bait going down right as they finish off one of my boarding crew. Yeah, even if your enemy are on an airless ship, gasping their last breath as the ship jumps away, you're not allowed to clone them because they technically weren't dead. Amazing Micro, thank you. Was, I could have done better. I'm still trying to get... Uh, I'm, I'm unsure when I, when I do the... Uh, safety dance, if I should wait till the guy gets all the way to piloting so that it's a longer run back... Or if I should move back and forth as soon as the second guy gets in the room. Because the quicker you move back, the less time it takes for them to cycle through. So I'm not sure what gets you the most alone time. I don't actually know what gets you the most alone time with um, safety dancing, to be honest. Waiting works better, you get longer two versus one. Okay, I, I've actually been wondering about that. Thanks, Mike. So the goal's hacking. There's a chance it stores down here. Let's go down and around this way. All right, lots of ship fights at least. First laser two and a missile with probably two mantis and an NG on this ship. No doors at least. Oh man. Okay, there we go. Fucking fuck you. Well, he just bombed my clone babe. I hate this game. Um Um, I could heal bomb them, I guess. Fucking FTL, man. Fucking FTL. All right, at least the Mantis is repairing the weapons. I heal bomb my guy before I go back over there. Repairs allowed. Okay. That should do it. God, man, this are so strong as fighters, though. Ooh, Rise of Teleporter died, too. Boarding sh ships on Harbo, no pause. Especially crappy ones like Slugby are not my favorite runs. So stressful. Gotta say, without DNA banks, you kind of prefer Heal Bay to Clone Bay. Um, I don't know that I agree with that, Madman. I don't know that I agree with that. Way too random, vulnerable, but then you're then you have to teleport back and forth to your ship multiple times to have them in the heal bay. I don't I don't know that that's better. 
Are you the only one that thinks a heal bomb is utterly nonsensical? <laughs> I mean... I feel like it's a video game where you could say a lot of things are utterly nonsensical. So, I don't- I mean, how do you teleport, dudes? How do you- Teleporting seems nonsensical. It's- it's- it's the future. It's the future. They can release a bunch of healing nanobots that fix your body. It's totally legit. Any situation where your crew would be dead due to your clone bay being hit would also involve them being dead if you had a med bay because clone bay being hit only matters if your crew are dead in the first place. Okay. Okay, uh, is this a safe fight? No, he probably has an offensive drone, so... Okay, he's not running. Oh, this is a safe fight. Okay, safe fight. Yay for safe fight. So, because safe fight, how do we want to do this? It's only one weapon power, I think. There's at least three drone power. Where do I think has less system power? Let's go over to engine so he can't run away, potentially. Although... Auto scouts won't run away anyway. Probably should have just gone to weapons. Auto scout boarding is a bit advantage over at med bay. Yeah, that's the main reason. The main reason you don't want med bay over clone bay is what would I do here if I did if I had a med bay? I would use up all of my missiles to kill this auto assault ship. Madman, you're just, I'm, I'm sorry, but Heal Bay is just objectively worse for a boarding ship, and this this fight right here is a perfect example of why. I would have no missiles left if I had to kill Auto Scouts with only missiles on this ship. But because we have Clone Bay, we can kill the ship without using any missiles. I would say there is a higher skill cap on using Clone Bay effectively than there is on using Heal Bay. So sure, Med Bay would be easier to use in certain situations for players who are not as good at the game. But Clone Bay enables you to do so much more than Heal Bay allows you, uh, enables you to do in boarding ships. It's just not even close. Not to mention giant alien spiders and all the other blue options and things that it protects you from. You might not choose to let them die if you know you had a med bay. And you're talking about this playing safer. It's the same as you always found the use of heal potions on undead silly. <laughs> If you're going to go that far, isn't the idea of things being undead just silly? I mean, these are video games and fantasy you're talking about. Saying the things are silly is like saying... Why even play video games or watch movies about fantasy and stuff? It's, it's all silly. It's all fake. It's not real in our world. What's the closest thing we have to something being undead in our, in our world? That fungus that makes undead ants or whatever. Rand, talking burgers. Bacon, yes or no? Tomato, yes or no? No. No on everything. I am, again, I am the really picky eater. And when I get a burger, I have cheese and I get ketchup. And that's all I put on it. I don't want bacon on it. I don't actually think bacon is that good. Here's an actual hot take. Bacon is completely overrated. There's there's my hot take for the day. Bacon is completely overrated. I would rather have sausage any day of the week. What? I know, I know. Just pissed off all of the internet, apparently. Nice. Got, it. Got that down twice. Auto ships are the main reason to swap clone bay. Usually spending 50 scrap once to get clones is cheaper for something... For auto ship killing through the mid game, then acquiring multiple weapons and weapon upgrades. 
No pickles? No, I, I, ugh, I hate pickles. I'm not a, I'm not a person who likes bitter or sour things that much, so... I, I don't like pickles just in general. If I get pickles, mayonnaise, or tomato, or lettuce on a burger by accident because they mess up, I take it back. Because I don't, I don't like any of that stuff. That really is a hot take. There you go. I had a real hot take for once. Bacon is overrated. Uh, the closest thing we have to undead is the average U.S. congressman with how old they are getting. Okay. There are situations where Columbia is less safe than Med Bay. I can only... I can forgive you only... You liking only chicken parm now. Okay. You're pretty sure your co-worker is undead. Okay, interesting. But no bacon is heresy. Okay. Well, I guess I am a heretic, a heretic when it comes to bacon. Bacon's definitely overrated on a burger. As a vegetarian, you're vegetarian, you are unperturbed by your bacon hot takes. Oh, I thought we were done. Um, Rand does not like veggies in general. Well, maybe tomatoes if they're in ketchup. I mean, one of my snacks I've been eating lately is I made fresh salsa. That's the closest thing that I will ever eat to a vegetarian thing. Because chips and salsa is amazing. But in general, hey, I got my fighting training back on my, or my piloting training back. In general, I kind of eat only meat and potatoes, usually in the form of french fries, and like bread, maybe some cheese. Like, I eat, I eat like I'm a five-year-old still, in most cases. The dog owner is very offended about the bacon thing, huh? When Rand orders a burger, please only with everything that gives me a heart attack faster, correct? Do I down out or eat at home mostly? Oh, I'm I'm going to fast food restaurants basically every day. No, I don't like hummus. Salsa is wonderful, it is. We had a double bacon cheeseburger tonight for dinner. It was awesome, nice. Not sure why, but for some reason you thought Rand was a vegan? No. I mean, I don't, I only drink water. Can I be a waterin? I, I don't drink anything other than water. So I feel like I, there should be a word for that. Uh, you like some Gretel on a sandwich. Okay. Clone Bay allows for the funniest strat in the game, Zap Brannigan. Hummus is awesome. It's a rare day that you don't eat hummus. How is hummus classified as food? I don't know. Isn't that made from like chickpeas or something? Well, there is a store. One, two, three, four, five. That's our chance of getting hacking here. I would, I, I hate to say it, but if there's an op, an opportunity for hacking that I have to sell long-range scanners for, I'm going to need to take that opportunity. I think. A Hydra homie is somebody who only drinks water. Okay. You reverse seared some Akashi ribeyes yesterday for your parents. Well, that sounds delicious. Almost there's chickpeas and tahini. I don't know what that is, and usually some lemon or garlic. You embrace food snobbiness if you got over vegan stews, etc. It's great. Cool. All right, this guy can't damage us, so another long fight. Get ready, everybody. We're going to continue to talk about food, I guess. <laughs> Tahini is ground sesame seeds. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'd survive as... Definitely not as a vegan, as a vegetarian. Uh, definitely not as a vegan, not even as a vegetarian do I think I sur I'd survive. I am just terrible at eating fruits and vegetables. If I were to have a partner who is like my brother who likes to cook a lot and does a really good job at making things like asparagus taste really good, I would probably do better. Because when I visit my brother, he, he likes to cook and he he does lots of things like making, you know, asparagus with butter and garlic and salt and pepper seasoned well and cooked really well, grilled and all that stuff. But I just, I don't like to cook because I'd rather pay somebody else to make me food. So I doubt I'm ever going to eat super healthy. I have no idea what a vegan nugget is. You tried being a vegan, but bounced off all the vegan cheeses. They are utterly rank. 
Yeah, that just sounds terrible. So many auto scout ships, I know. Well, we are not. I mean, I, I literally said Game of, Gamer Penguins when we were forced into double Uncharted Nebula. It's gonna be nothing but auto scouts. So, it's, it's expected. It's annoying as hell, but it's expected. Uh, you've not eaten meat in 16 and a half years. Well done, well done. It sounds hard. Uh, if I have a meal with no meat in it, I feel like I didn't eat a real meal. Like, it feels like I didn't get enough sustenance. Uh, how is Sonic nowadays? Have they changed their bread again yet? No, it's still instead of the... Sausage... Um... Croissant is still the sausage brioche sandwich, so... It's fine. It's not as good. Brioche is not as good as... Croissant. Probably not a very hot take. Vegan stuff can be nice, but then you do find most of it ain't that good. Asparagus, asparagus is great. It's just not meant to be boiled plain. There's about a million different ways to cook it to perfection. You guys are never going to have skills. Yeah, I know. Um, it's a habit thing. You sometimes get surprised when you're suddenly reminded that people actually eat meat. Yeah. Vegan stuff is so overpriced. Just why? Yeah. Although I would say from my experience, meat can be pretty pricey too, depending on what you get, I guess. There's probably cheap vegan stuff, but I don't know. I never wanted or tried to go vegan. You were vegan for a few years and there's some good vegan cheeses now, as long as it's a soft cheese like a brie or a cream something. Should you give Indian food a go? No, I shouldn't. Uh, chicken tikka masala. Destroys my stomach. It's the only Italian dish, I, uh, Italian Indian dish I've had, and it's like one of the most. From what I understand, chicken tikka masala is one of the lowest spice level, lowest common denominator bland dishes you can get for Indian dishes. And I was eating it for a while, and now it destroys my stomach. I'm pretty sure Indian spices would make my stomach actually explode if I ate anything more. Spicy than chicken chicken tikka masala. Once had a vegan sausage. It tasted so bad even our dog that will eat anything said no to it. Chicken tikka masala isn't even Indian. Well, there you go. There's loads of Indian food that is not spicy at all. Really? I thought that was the whole thing about Indian food is it always has super, super high spice levels. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure the reason chicken tikka masala doesn't sit well with my stomach is because... Uh, what is... What is that thing that is in every Indian dish? The the sauce or whatever? What is that called? Um, there's a word for the sauce that is in Indian food. And I can't think of what that word is called. Um, curry. Is it curry and all Indian food and it's always usually cream based or dairy based. I don't know. I don't I don't like Indian food enough to figure out what I'd need to eat for me to not have my stomach destroyed every time I try it. Not everything Indian is spicy. Okay. Well, I'll be honest. Again, I'm a really bland American. I just don't care about Indian food enough to want to find stuff that I could eat. Um, when you live in Japan, toured the Royal Course Line, where foreigners really went. There are a few places to stay. We asked a hotel in Broken Japanese that had a room. Could we sleep there? Would you like a taxi? Interesting. Uh, stuff might not sit well with your bellies because not used to it as well. Um, okay, maybe. Okay, there's hacking. Nice, I don't even have to sell anything to get it. Should I sell something at Burst Laser? I'll be honest with you, Bolo. I don't know if you're similar age to me. And some girl I was talking to at one point said she's older than me and couldn't believe me when I said I, my stomach wasn't didn't handle things very well. But I have real stomach issues that there are a lot of things that cause me to have not a good time. 
So I don't think I'm ever going to probably get into Indian food. Um, do I want to buy a burst laser to get through Zeltan's shields? I'll be at 48 scrap if I sell heal bomb. <laughs> probably just buy drone parts. When you play Slug B, have you always made a plan to get Columbia first? Not always, but in recent uh, recent attempts, yes, because uh, you have to get lucky with weapons otherwise. How far up this ship did the tier list go? Uh, exclamation point tier list. I'm pretty sure the new tier list takes this into, into account. A plant lentil curry with good rice is a fantastic start in Indian food. That doesn't sound delicious to me at all. Sorry. I don't like beans. I like rice, but I don't like... Um, I don't like lentils. So, like, none of this sounds good. Uh, okay. What am I doing here? Buy one drone part because I'm pretty sure we're going to be relying on this. Ticket, I'm also not one to eat spicy Texas chili. I like spicy Texas chili because it's mainly just beef with some chili in it. And there's no dairy involved, there's no cream base involved. But I'm also not very good at understanding what's inside of certain foods, so I might just be wrong in what things mess up my stomach. I honestly, I have a. Um, I have a I have a doctor's appointment coming up and one of the things I want to ask the doctor about is uh, talking to some sort of digestive specialist because I'm pretty sure I'm having issues with my stomach that are things I should maybe be taking something for to be honest. So I'm not going to be very adventurous with all these foods you all are suggesting. Yeah, there's no beans in Texas chili. Uh, well, in the good chilies. Some people like beans and chili, I don't. Um, okay. Uh, spicy meter, never said chili variants. Dante, bio beam hurts your own crew. If you shoot them with it, yes. You never make chili without beans? Ugh. Then you're ruining your chili. We could actually use anti-bio beam. Potentially, I'm probably going to sell it first chance I get, though. All right. Do I get hacking two? Yeah, I think I do. Boarding hacking Artemis. I don't like this build. This is what I. This is kind of what I've leaned towards with a lot of boarding builds lately, and it's just so intensive on your consumables. Run it, you use drone parts, use missiles. Ugh, I don't like these things. Your chili always has multiple kinds of beans in it, usually red kidney and pinto. Yeah, I wouldn't like your your chili, sorry to say. You have to be careful with food. Chili does not agree with you. I can usually do okay with spicy stuff if it's not super spicy and it's not Involving some sort of cream base or something. You know, like... Like, I feel like a lot of curries are cream-based things. Maybe I'm crazy and maybe I'm wrong. Of course this missile stays online. Oh, come on, man! I'm trying to not use a drone part here, and it's costing me so much health. Health and missiles. Okay. Alright, well, I'm just gonna let my guys refresh, so I don't have to use any more consumables. I'm gonna run around a little bit here while this guy gets, uh, cloned. Don't repair, don't repair, don't repair. Damn it! Okay, well, hopefully we'll kill him before this finish charging another shot. Good, okay. 
I've never tasted your chili, so my opinion doesn't count. All right. Sure. That's like when people tell me um, what that the reason I don't like alcohol is because I haven't tried the right alcohol. So I'm just going to disagree with you and say it has something in it that I know I don't like, so I'm going to tell you that I don't like it. I'm sure it's amazing for people who like beans. Um, your sister-in-law is a clinical di diatrist, is that the word? Who deals with people's digestive system on a professional level. She frequently tells us how many people suffer from a weak digestive system. Um, yeah. A lot of people are lactose intolerant. It's actually a genetic defect to digest lactose after childhood. I know. I know, and I have stuff for that, but I still have issues. Why would it be a bad idea to be able to drink cow's milk without throwing up? Uh, defect. It's a defect. You hate alcohol too? Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's because on an ev evolutionary level, humans didn't drink cow's milk. So we just have not evolved for humans at an, of an adult age to drink that when they're adults or something. I'm sure it's an, evolution, an evolutionary thing that hasn't adjusted because evolution is on millions of years, not thousands of years scale. Except many of us have been drinking animal milk. Uh, well, well, it's a, it's a defect in that I, I think I've heard this before. I've heard that it's quite normal that adults become lactose intolerant as they age. And it's people who aren't lactose intolerant that have some sort of either mutation or defect or something that makes them not get stomach issues when they drink cow's milk or whatever. Yes, I got an antibiotic bean for free. Yes, Clone Bay, Burst Laser 2. Oh, man. Normal if you are from a society that doesn't have a long history of animal husbandry. All right, I don't know. I'm not going to participate in this discussion. I'm no scientist. I just have heard about these things. He has an anti -trill. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. Oh, fucking hell. Can I? Um... Um, I can't actually stop this. I have to run. I can't do anything to this shitty, shitty fight. Oh my fucking god. Um. This is actually a fucking disaster right now. <laughs> he kills. I have no O2. Um, I think I'm fucking dead actually. I think I'm actually fucking dead because I can't leave. I don't know what- I think I'm fucking dead. Is there anything I can do? You guys go repair this. I hate this fucking game. Can I get the fuck out of here? <sighs> Fucking hell. This goddamn fucking Rebel Disruptor fight. Get me to the store so I can recover from this bullshit. Okay, we're not fucking dead. Jesus. God damn it, I hate rebel disruptors. Fucking stupid bullshit. Okay, we're not fucking dead. We're not dead. Goddamn mother effing shitty cheating ass game. Oh my god. Alright, take it to tells if people are gonna be. Getting all offended about bullshit. Please take it to tells. 
I don't want arguing in my chat right now. While I'm trying to not die to bullshit in FTL. Oh my god. All right, can I can I recover from this? What can I do here? <sighs> All right, we're not dead. We're not dead. Four missiles, five fuel, six drone parts. Uh, how do I make a ship that I can actually do jack shit right now? How do I make a ship that's not completely worthless? God, this ship sucks so much. <laughs> do I just repair? Buy missiles? What did you miss? You can check the VOD. You check the VOD. S stupid disruptor ship is what you missed. God, I'm almost... I just... I like... I have no consumables, man. I have shitty boarders. Shitty boarding support. Do I have to buy missiles right now? I don't think a teleporter upgrade is what I need right now. Ugh, I don't know what I need though. We're really far behind. Well, we're only sector three. We're not that far behind, I guess. I just need to not have fucking rebel disruptors over and over with three crew, a clone bay, defense drone, and a what was that's a that was a five fucking power drone control system, by the way. That was defense drone. Plus a boarding drone. That's five fucking drone power. No, I'm not going back there. That's a stupid idea. <laughs> no. No, they're just gonna do the same shit and we're gonna die again. They have a defense drone. I can't I can't do anything to them. Sorry, that was probably mean. Um that is not a that is a suboptimal play that I'm not going to participate in. I mean not be so mean. Let me pull the pilot, so we kill the clone bay, hopefully. Fuck you, FTL. Right, hopefully Fuck I don't you. have to use any more missiles. It's a silly place, yes. That last jump was a silly place. I don't want to go back there. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just stress out, man. Oh, God, I hate this ship. This ship is not my favorite. Basically, that ship that almost killed us is kind of a hard counter to our ship. A rebel disruptor with a defense drone, three crew, and a clone bay. That's basically a hard counter to us. Uh, we we can't missile any of his shit down. He's got more crew than we can fight. He has a boarding drone that I can't beat on my ship. So I'm not going to go back to a ship that is a hard counter to us. Checked a few recipes. It seems Indian curry does use yogurt quite frequently. So that might explain your issues. You could try Thai curry instead since it's usually made with coconut milk. No, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to eat that. Because who knows what else is in there that my stomach not like. I feel like one of the issues with those curries and stuff is there's just a lot of different stuff in it. So, it could be some certain spice or some other ingredient that's part of the base. I just, I'm, I try to be very careful with what I eat, careful with what I eat, even though I eat really poorly. I eat the same things over and over that I try to remember what doesn't make my stomach explode. And any type of curry sounds like a bad time for me. So I don't I don't really want to try Thai curry. Yes, give me a plain burger with fries. That's right. Auto assault ship. Pretty safe fight. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hack the weapons because if that... 
This guy bombs my clone bay. We're screwed. Let's have another burger conversation. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, now that I have it hacked, I don't think I need to... I think I can... I don't have to refresh my pilot over and over again. Sad to say, I don't think I'm going to get any Deep Rock Galactic Survivor in today. This is going to be just a ridiculously long run if we win the run. It's going to be a ridiculously long run. Clone Bay boarding with this terrible ship. It'll take forever. You're going to give up on food tips then? Yeah. It's probably best. Not that I don't want your food tips. Just... They're probably not gonna be very successful for me. I am... It's like giving me tips on what drinks I should get to like alcohol. I, even if you have the greatest tip ever, I don't feel any need to take them to use your tips. I'm sorry. Um... To hell with tomato on burgers. <laughs> Does hacking interrupt the auto repairs on these ships? It's hacking halves repair speed on any ship. Something I didn't know till a year or two ago. If a system is hacked, it gets repaired even if it's being repaired by a human or an NG. It halves their normal repair speed. Take freaking forever, man. And I don't want to use any missiles or maybe shouldn't have even used a drone part, but I was I was. Stressed about that small bomb killing my killing my thing there. Former heavy drinker here. Don't try to like alcohol. Just be happy you don't like it. Yeah, that's that's how I feel, and that's how I will probably always feel. I feel no compunction or what's the word? Uh. no reason to start wanting to do it. I don't know. There's a word I'm trying to think of that I can't think of. Compulsion? No. Maybe it's compulsion. Satisfaction? No. I can't get? No. No, it's not that. Motivation. Motivation. That's the word. I feel no motivation. The frick? Oh my god. I just took damage for no goddamn reason. I, ha I feel no motivation to start drinking. Or to start liking curries for some reason. Ugh. Or, it's not that I don't like curries. Um, that I don't trust my stomach to be able to handle curries. get a, another whole damage from killing drone control. Freaking slugs are as bad borders as humans. You used to drink daily, but thankfully with this job you got where you could be driving trucks, you now only drink two nights a week and already feel better for it. It's good. It's good. Oh, that quote's dead. Bad. That clip no longer alive with us today. Drinking is expensive anyway. You spend way too much on good meads. Yeah. Yeah, the expense is one reason, but there's many reasons I don't feel motivation to start drinking. <laughs> many reasons. Uh, you allow yourself cold beer once or twice a month? It's nice, but nothing more than that? Yeah. It's probably a smart way to do it. Stay away from green Thai curry. Looks less dangerous than red chili, but will turn you into a human volcano in no time. <laughs> A buddy of yours found he is gluten intolerant. Now that he avoids it, he feels much better all the time. Yeah, my ex thought maybe that was my issue, and I 
tried to take a pill for gluten intolerance or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know what my... I think I need to go to a digestive specialist. Because uh, I don't know... To me, the only thing that I consistently can tell causes me issues is dairy. So I try to not do too much with dairy and even have a pill if I'm doing something that's a small amount of dairy. But I don't know. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's getting old. Getting old sucks. I'm almost 43. I can't eat anything. You know you're old when you have to always have a supply of Pepto-Bismol in your house. You know you're old. Get tested for food allergies. Well, I'm going to the doctor this coming Monday and I'm going to ask him about who do I see about having issues with digestion and hope that my government insurance will cover me seeing a digestive health specialist. That is the plan for me anyway. A fecal transplant. I don't even know what that means. It sounds gross though. <laughs> Get Rand on an insured dietary shake. Did I eat vegetables with every meal? Do I? No, I don't. I eat very few vegetables. I should eat more. I don't think there's a pill for gluten. No. Well, maybe I tried to eat gluten-free for a while. I think I did try to eat gluten-free for a while, and it didn't seem to make much difference to me, to be honest. But, I don't know. I mean, I'm literally eating salsa. That's tomatoes, peppers, much other stuff as my snack lately, so... I actually am eating more fruits and vegetables than I used to. So... Uh, given the amount of pizza, burgers, and other breads you eat is probably not gluten. You think it wouldn't be anything anymore if it was gluten. Yeah. Pretty sure I don't have gluten issues. The acidity of salsa can torture your stomach. Um, okay, maybe I should clarify. Eating the salsa, um, snack is actually one of the least stomach irritants I've, I've had in a while. For a snack anyway so I'm pretty sure the salsa is fine now it sounds like chat's trying to convince me to not eat the one thing that I think is actually kind of healthy yeah I, I still eat pizza even though I'm lactose intolerant but when I eat pizza I take things to help with that but yes it's worth the suffering when it's pizza it's, I feel the same way gamer penguins I have a lactose pill and Pepto-Bismol when I eat pizza that's what I do. Uh, yeah, sorry, you must have missed the M Pain Train. I'm, I make I, I make fresh salsa. I buy tomatoes, I buy peppers, I buy a bunch of stuff, and I make fresh salsa. Rand only likes the cheesy bread. Well, I like the pizza too, but the cheesy bread's the, the main reason I... I know I actually haven't eaten pizza for two weeks because my stomach was not feeling good the last time I got Pizza Hut, so... <laughs> hopefully, hopefully my stomach is prepared for pizza if I do it in the near future. Because I'm thinking about doing it tonight for dinner. Transplant sounds weird, but makes sense. Lack of certain gut bacteria. Makes it impossible to digest certain stuff and causes issues. Okay. Well, I'm sure all the YouTube people are going to love this 20-minute fight where we're just talking about freaking gut bacteria and lactose intolerance. What a good what a good time we're having. Oh my god, these stupid fights. The things we have to do to not use up all of our limited consumables here. That sounds like a rough time, Muhammad. Also sounds like a super unhealthy diet you had if it was all coffee and cigarettes. All right, finally we're done, I think, finally. This last, this will finish this annoying ass fight. I know, we're all old people talking about digestive health.
Alright, at least we got a double reward out of it. Still, 30 scrap, I think, total out of a double reward is not very good. All right, hopefully hopefully that's the last time we have to talk about my digestive health during a stupid auto scout fight on this boarding ship. Honestly, it probably won't be the last time because I think we're still in... Oh, we're not in a nebula. Okay. Is there anything I can do to make auto scout fights less sucky? Unless I get a good weapon, I feel like. Coffee and cigarettes is so good. My god, neither of those things sound like anything I care about. So I guess I'm lucky that both those things sound terrible. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna hack weapons, board weapons here. <clears throat> Coffee is another thing that, in my opinion, is super overrated. You gotta keep it overrated. We can still talk about Star Wars. True, we could. We could talk about Star Wars. <coughs> Alright, well, we got our drone part back. That's good. Okay. There is no Star Wars. Star Wars does not exist. <laughs> Oh, you know something we could talk about? My brother um, sent a link to uh, me and my friend Tim this morning about this. This goes with Ramsey's nostalgia thing. Uh, he's thinking about doing is the uh, '90s X-Men show. Da -da 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 -da. My brother sent me a video for a trailer that Disney Plus is gonna have a modern re-release of um, new episodes of that or something. Has anybody seen that? Just watched it this morning. Yes, free weapon! Nice! Um, you're actually with me there. You never tasted developed a taste for coffee. Which is kind of weird because all IT people are fueled by coffee, huh? Look up 90s X-Men trailer. I just watched it this morning and it actually looks like it might not be terrible. Okay, there's a chance we buy cloaking at the store, too. Yes, the animated series. The badass Saturday morning cartoons one from the 90s. Okay, I have a burst laser now. Can I, can I do this fight? Burst laser and not having to just missile them over and over. Oh, it's a beam master. Okay, we can. Nice. All right, so the way we do this is we board shields and we kill this guy a little bit faster this time. When Yes, back when X-Men was actually good. Back in the 90s when it was a kid's television series. But apparently it's going to be on Disney Plus or something. So I really hope it's good. It's weird because the trailer starts out with something about Professor Xavier dying or something? I don't know. But it looks like it might actually be good. Of course, it also kind of looks like Disney's just capitalizing on an IP that they paid a bunch of money for and just trying to milk nostalgia like they do with Star Wars. But hey, if it's good, I'll probably watch it. <laughs> that was synchronized dying right there. There it is. Ramsey's is X-Men 97. There it is. Got the link. Thanks, Ramsey's. 
You need that Carmen video. Put a woman in it, make her gay. <laughs> I, watched, I did watch that clip you put the other day. It's crazy. Oh man, he repaired. Sir, that's a salad. Put a woman in it, make her gay. Spider-Man anime series from the early 90s was great as well. Saturday morning comics for the win, yeah. That, the Batman comic, the, uh, the Batman animated series, those were some of the best cartoons ever. Spider-Man, Batman, and X-Men cartoons from the 90s. All right, 10 scrap and a map. That was my reward. Wow, 10 scrap and a map. Wasn't that in the show where he was deadly ill or something? You don't quite remember. Well, they, they start out... Just watch the trailer, Ramses. Watch the trailer. It starts out talking about the the season finale or the cliffhanger of him getting sick. I don't, I don't remember. It's been years, but it looks like they're continuing that or something. And they actually show Magneto in it, and he looks young and with long hair, which kind of doesn't I don't remember. I, that's what I remember. It's not what I remember Magneto looking like from way back then, but... Justice League animated series were goaded as well. I don't think I ever really got into those. Okay, they do have cloaking. Okay, I can sell heal bomb, get cloaking, and I don't have to sell a weapon. Should I sell long range scanners or anything else for repairs or anything? I think we just go with that and say we're we're kind of strong, maybe. I'd still low on consumables and not doing great on health. I don't feel strong. I love when you get a map at the end of a sector. I know it's the best. Need to watch the '90s Batman series. DC animations have always been superior to their movie attempts. Well, yeah, I mean the. Um, 90s Batman series was is like when I watch random YouTube videos about old school stuff or whatever I swear the old Batman animated series is what so many of those videos are talking about it's how, how good the um... damn it fucking hell how good that that series was Let me fucking hit Come him! On. Come on, how the fuck man. you dodge? Oh god. Don't kill my clone bait. Fuck you! Fucking fuck you! Fuck you, shit! You shitty fucking game. God damn it. God. Fucking, I hate this game. I'm now a goddamn boarding ship with no fucking borders. Ugh, I hate this ship! God damn it. God fucking damn it. I knew that shit was gonna happen. Ugh, I hate this ship so much. I'm now a boarding ship with no fucking borders, man. Ugh, god damn it. I hate this ship so much. God damn it. <sighs> Fuck, man. Oh, my God. Damn it, man. So frustrating. I need to move my power around. Just trying to micro my crew. Ugh. I need to buy crew now or some shit. I'm so... I'm... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to kill ships right now, man. I'm going to have to... Hack, cloak, mine could... Uh, not, my hack, cloak, board. Oh, my God. 
Well, this run might end and I can play some of that game I wanted to play anyway. Because <sighs> I definitely don't want to play this shit right now. I didn't even move my crew over there. Oh, fuck you, game. God damn it. I have three missiles left, man. Can I kill this before they get through here? Nope. Need to fight super weak ships to be able to do anything right now. <sighs> Hell, man. Yeah, I was having a great time talking with you today, chat. Then FTL decided to kill all my crew and be a piece of shit. So now I can't have fun anymore. Love to talk about nostalgia and X-Men, but now I gotta focus on this stupid, frustrating, ridiculously punishing game, man. It's so frustrating. Ah, do I get clo cloaking upgrade? I feel like I need to save for the store to buy goddamn crew. I don't even know what the play is right now. I'm just tilting. Freaking tilting. What the actual fuck? I have one missile left and his missiles did not go offline. Ugh, you gotta be shitting me! 77% chance to fucking dodge. Um... I... Can't do jack shit right now. I cannot do fucking anything right now. I have to run and... Did I not cloak? Maybe I didn't cloak. I thought I fucking cloaked. I, pro I hit C and probably didn't have power in it or some shit. I don't even know what to do right now. I did cloak, but it still hit me. Okay. Ugh, I hate this fucking game so much, man. I have no missiles, four drone parts, four fuel, shit for weapons. This would be force boarding. <clears throat> That's it, I can actually fucking kill this guy and then he goddamn runs away while cloaking. I just think you're a piece of shit, FTL. If I haven't made that clear enough, I think you're just a fucking piece of shit. I just... There's no redeeming qualities about you. Talk about how this is the best game ever, and now I just kind of effing hate you right now. <sighs> okay. If I can stop him from running, I can hack his shit right now. <coughs> I swear that my swearing at this game also... Like, ruins my voice, too. Okay, safe fight. 
Somehow we have a safe fight. Maybe we can somehow recover this shit. God. You forgot it was Thursday. You hope it's going well. It's not. Oh, God. God damn it. I took my hands off the keyboard. He repaired. If he gets out now, I'm screwed. Don't let him get out. Okay. It's not going well. We had one good run, then we rolled this abomination of a ship, and I lost my boarding crew a couple jumps ago, and I'm just fucking behind now. Is there any way I can go flak halberd and make this a no longer a boarding run? I don't think there's any way I have enough scrap to do that. I really want to make that transition, but there's no way I can afford it. 130 scrap plus three weapon upgrades. Yeah, I don't know if Mike or Sleeping Dragon are even still around. They usually are lurking or gone by now, so. <sighs> I think I have to buy crew. I think the only way I turn this back around is to keep leaning harder into the boarding. Have non-shitty boarders with a rock and a mantis, maybe. But I have to sell burst laser to do that, then I couldn't get through Zoltan's shields. Maybe I sell the Artemis. That doesn't give me enough for the uh, Mantis. <laughs> I sell both of these, I can get a Mantis, I think. Oh man, chat got really quiet. I guess chat doesn't know what I should do either, because I sure don't. Freaking know what to do right now. <laughs> Thinking about selling Artemis long range scanners, get Mantis. Uh, I keep the burst laser to get through Zoltan shields and I buy drone parts. That's what I'm thinking. As much as I hate to say it, I think I gotta buy this. I gotta sell one of these weapons. Don't know what to do. You're not qualified. Alright, the question is, what do I sell to get the Mantis? Do I sell the Burst Laser so I still have the missile support that I barely have any missiles for? Or do I sell the Artemis so I keep the Burst Laser 1? to get through Zoltan shields. I think I sell the Artemis. Aclo TP means you can recover. You don't think a gunship transition is practical. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do it though. If I if I sell Artemis to keep first later to get through Zoltan shields, I think I can buy like one or two drone parts. I'm gonna be so, I just, I'm out of everything. I'm out of consumables, I'm out of crew, I'm out of health. buy one drone part with this. You haven't been watching, so you don't actually know. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna just try to go even harder into the boarding and hope we can get some crazy, ridiculous rewards. I don't. I think that's only our only chance. There's a solar flare boarding, or a sorting... <sighs> solar flare fight here. I need, to, I need to clear my head a second here. Give me a sec, chat. Give me a sec. Stretch, clear my head. Pour fucking water all over myself. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. 
Fiasco. Probably gonna die. Probably be a relief when we die, to be honest. We have another store that I have no scrap for. Okay. Black 2 Heavy Laser. Okay. How do we do this? Black 2 Heavy Laser Heal Bay. Cannot kill his Heal Bay. I need to lock him in the weapons room and kill him in there, I think. Problem is, I also need to. I think I need to vent his crew. We're always hacking the weapons. Where's he bored? I did not save my fucking positions. God damn it. Okay, where's the flak? There's the flak. Two v one him. Hopefully this will work. Nice. Kill him. God damn it. Okay. Good. Please don't get through the door. We let him hit it a long time. Should be okay. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good here. It's gonna be a lot of stressful fights like this, I think. Where it's just I gotta manipulate their crew and figure out the way to kill them. Hope our boarders can do their work well. A for Rock and Mantis, man. You'd be looking at cloaking upgrade soon for better weapon lockout? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's the next upgrade. You've been FK, it looks spicy, you know. Well, I think the biggest immediate threat is drone parts, then maybe hull. Yeah. I almost wonder if I should get engine upgrade before the cloaking so I have higher dodge when we dodge. Okay, I need to save my positions. You need to be on engines. The only reason we ever use burst later is if we have Zoltan shields to get through. Keep thinking about going to bed, but it's too interesting right now. Okay. We do have a store here, so maybe I can get some repairs and drone parts at this store, so I probably just save for now. Book upgrade is better, lets you buy more time. I think I'm not gonna do the upgrade yet, because I feel like saving for the store for repairs and drone parts is more important. Oh man, I could really use a mantis for free right now. But do I take the chance for five free hull damage to get a free mantis? So for those who don't know, if I side with Fugitive, we either take we either get a free mantis in a ship fight, or we get hull damage in a ship fight. We do this one. I think we never get crew. Sometimes we get free stuff, and sometimes we get a ship fight. Second option has no chance to get hull damage. You can take hull damage, but not a fight. Second option has no chance to get hull damage in a fight. Right, you can, you can take hull damage, but not a fight. Hull damage in a bad fight could end the run. I agree. I agree I could. Hmm. 
This one can be. It wouldn't be whole damage. It would. It would. It, it could be whole damage in like a border I have to deal with. Is that what it is? Because he goes crazy or something. Uh, option two is high scrap, whole damage, and high scrap or a fight with a border. Okay. Man, this is what I normally do, but if I take five whole damage right now. Okay, all right. Okay, maybe we can get back to a place where I'm not almost dead at this store. No result and shield bypass, which is what I was kind of hoping for. Okay. All right, 35 for the backup battery. I think I want the backup battery. Do I buy it or is it too greedy? My last system I need, right? Tells me half power nebulas. Lets me be done with my systems. Or do I need to repair or buy more drone parts? Nothing to sell. Yeah, no, no crew options, I don't think. Uh, backup battery or more drone parts. Um, uh, hacking is carrying us along with teleporter. Maybe I can delay the backup battery. I think repair and report drone parts are more important. I'm gonna repair there. Maybe we can get Cloak 2 next sector. Okay. How do I kill this clone bay, man? To get the Cloak Hack cycle going... If I... If I let him board with one guy, well, he board with one or two. He'll board with two, won't he? I think if I hack weapons, board clone bay, I can kill level one clone bay before he can get through. Problem is if he has level two clone bay, I think. I think I'm gonna try that and hope I can vent wherever he boards. I can't vent that. Fuck, I oh, messed come up. Oh, man. Okay, level two clone bay, that is bad. Okay, but I didn't kill any of them yet, which is good, I think. But I now take the missile. Oh, we killed the clone bay somehow. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, Let's fight over. Okay. Oh, I hate I hate situations like this, man. I'm so stressed out. Like one miss micro and I lose my crew. I need to refresh my I need to refresh these guys. Everybody on the ship gets a damn refresh right now. I can't have everybody at low fucking health. Everybody in the goddamn clone bay. You're not even sure how clone bay died? Me neither. We must have killed it right as they ran out, or I don't know. I don't know. God, it's the micro between boarding, moving power around, hacking the right system, cloaking at the right time. Like this, these are my least, absolute least favorite runs in Harmon No Pause. It's so effing hard. To do all the micro in time, at the right time, in the right order. Ah, so goddamn hard, man. When you have level 2 cloak hack, 
and 100% cloak evade, you can literally run the enemy out of missiles first to make things easier. Okay. Yeah, we're not even close to that. I mean... I'm so many upgrades and engines and power away from being able to do that. I think I need to always have the pack at level 2 so I don't have to move power around to start. I think that's one of my issues here. I think I saved the positions, I think. Oh, I can't do that. If I get level 2 clone bay, I will have what I need for Kazak. Well, I'm never going to Uncharted, right? Not when I could have forced abandon after. Is any consolation ran? These are the compelling ones to watch. Okay. Well, thanks. I do appreciate that. Okay, let me let me deal with the borders before I board him. So let me hack the weapons, deal with the borders. So I don't have to do boarding mic at the same time. I fucking hate this game! Doesn't matter what level of fucking cloaking I have. Or level of dodge, it equals fucking zero. So, okay, we should win this now. Okay. Fuck you! With these dodges! What the F? Okay. Yeah, more sanity checks, I guess. Um, having real power and cloak and hack are not needed to shift them back and forth is very helpful. Yeah. I didn't use the level 2 cloaking, did I? I didn't. Didn't move the power around. Done well to recover from the frustration of losing crew. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay focused here. Got some really rough things to overcome this run with losing crew and that one event that almost killed us that we had to like use heal bomb and all that crap with the boarding drone and stuff. Alright, is it worth the chance at Kazak to get the level 2 clone bay now? This is the point in a run where you push upgrades very aggressively. Power plus three, engines three would be good. I'm gonna get your rename from earlier. Uh, sure. What, what what's the rename? Schmierwurst. Okay. <sighs> Kazak would be huge. Is it worth spending the scrap to delay other upgrades to go for that? This is the only thing we need for the Kazak upgrade. It's also clone bay protection, which I don't hate. Protection from losing crew to another one damage missile, potentially. But that might be just me justifying because I really want to give the chance to get Kazak. <laughs> I think Kazak is a luxury, power and engines are safety. How much can I get? One engine, one power. So we start the fight with all those powered. <laughs> small price for chance of great reward. Yeah, the problem is right now, it even a small chance of great reward is probably not worth as much as... 
a higher chance at not dying. And that's what we're dealing with right now. We're really far behind. Okay. No heal bay. Good, that's really good. Maybe should have boarded there earlier. Not sure. Okay, we get to 2v1, nice. Fuck, I didn't... Ugh. And that's the fucking issue with me not having the shields, man. I didn't have the power up. Oh, thank God he won that fight. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Oh, I needed to move the power around. I don't have enough fucking power. Not enough goddamn power. Yeah, I know. I didn't turn the shield on. I know, I know. Oh, it's that fucking micro, man. I, I don't have the power. I just don't have it. I didn't buy backup battery. So focused on the goddamn micro. I'm doing this. I'm doing the Kazakh opportunity. I got one extra dodge. Oh, we skip the stress because the stress can't be Kazakh. Okay, that would have been a good deal, but no piloting upgrade. Oh god, solar flare. Okay. Get Mantis Bomber. As soon as that's done, go here, close doors. There we go, we can 2v1. Okay, that's the only fire. Oh, there's O2 fire. Oh, I hope I got that out in time. Oh, God damn it. I killed him. Over here. Here somewhere, it's not in the system room. Come on, finish the fight. Okay, we got fuel, that's good. I'm not gonna be able to refresh my mantis here, unless I want to take another solar flare, which. Um. God, I feel like I need to refresh. I'm gonna take the solar flare. Through my doors. Damn. Damn, that sucks. Alright, well, he's gonna have to fix that. I'm sure, it's not anywhere else. I think taking the one extra solar flare to have my crew full health for the boarding is worth. Do that for now. <sighs> okay. Oh, come on! Solar flare, solar flare, solar flare! Give me a break, FDL! 
Oh, god damn it. Okay, uh, I have no doors now for their fucking boarding. Right, you go fix the doors while these guys deal with the boarders. Uh, I don't even know if I would win this fight. Why can't I teleport? There's no power in there. There's fucking fire my shields. Oh, damn it. Okay, fire in their weapons is actually great for us. You go do this. Uh, where's my hack? My hack's not up. Cloak the bomb. Okay, that's down. Hack that. Do this. He's dead. Damn it. Um, the weapons are still burning. Go repair. Fighting non-stop and fucking solar players, man. This is not fun. Okay, they're dead. They're dead. Uh, need to get out of here. Okay, we're repaired. Okay, uh, no more refreshing. Oh my god, solar flare to solar flare to... The BS to BS. Okay, we're still alive. Let's go. Can I have Kazak, man? Nope. Solar flare to solar flare to goddamn asteroid field. All right, shieldless in an asteroid field. Let's go. Mind control. Um. Okay. Try not to use a drone part here. God, this freaking run will not give me a break. I swear. Oh, thank God he's a shieldless auto scout, though. Make sure there's no fire in there. Streak looks good. Well, the, for the people who've just joined, I am as stressed as I've been in a while right now on this run. This is not a good-looking streak. We are alive, if that's what you mean by looking good, but we are not in a good position. The only thing I can say for this streak right now is we're not dead. You're gonna need to lay down after this run. How do you think I feel? How do you think I feel, man? Okay, his weapons kind of suck. Maybe I don't have to hack here. Well, he has a heal bay. I probably have to hack anyway. I need you to refresh, sir. Oh, why is this thing on? I don't need that on. He has a heal bay. Okay. power in time. I have not good shields now. Um, it's not good. That halberd beam is now going to do damage to me. Cloak it and that might buy time for the hacking to come back up, maybe. It's not, is it? Uh, maybe. Oh, they got it down. Nice. Nice. 
Nice. Ooh, oh man, the level two cloaking just was huge there. Saved us from a halberd beam swipe. Yeah, upgraded cloaking is good. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. This run is showing all those upgrades that Sleeping Dragon always talks about that I delay or don't do because I'm not in a freaking dire situation like this. The laptop has water cooling when it overheats. You pour a little water on the laptop. Is that normal, guys? Yeah, totally normal. Get those borders of metal for coming up big there. Yeah, the borders and the hacking and the cloaking, man. We're just... We're living on those three things, keeping us alive. How much scrap to buy a pause button? I don't know, it's too expensive. I can't afford it. Why am I banking so much scrap right now? Oh, because I went... Solar Flare, Solar Flare, Asteroid Field, other fight. That's why. Like, am I just bad? No, I have literally had not the option. Um, what do we upgrade here? Dodge Power, Hacking 3, Third Shield. I feel like it's gotta be Power. Dodge Power. No store nearby currently. What if you accidentally press paused? I have D... Hotkeyed. On hotkeyed, whatever. I've taken the pause off hotkey so I don't do it. Manta Sector equals scrap hoarding challenge, yeah. This is what I do? Or do I do something like Third Shield? Are we the baddies? Yes, we are the baddies. I think I do this to go to continue all in on the cloaking hacking thing. We have cold keyed pause, yes. Shield 3 seems more appreciable. I think I like this. Do I like this? Maybe even this. Pack 3, Cloak 2 is perma safety, right? Are you allowed to hit the jump button and then cancel? Yeah. You're, the only thing that no pause means is that you can't, like, micro your crew, aim your weapons, you know, vent your ship. You can't do anything during pause. You can jump and see what your situation is. What if you accidentally... I already answered that question in the house. Then it's no longer no pause and you've wrecked your streak. But it's a single player game. Do whatever you want. I'm gonna get hacking three here. Even though I don't quite have the power for the dodge, I just did. This is the generally the point of the run where you stop skimping on power? As much as you really want to watch the rest of the story, I need to head to bed. Hope all goes well. Appreciate it, gamer penguins. If we can pull this one back, I will be very happy. This has been one of my most stressful runs in a while. Doesn't look like we're getting the Kazak. That's a fine boarding position, honestly. So we do this. Damn, this heal bay is alive right now. He's gonna not kill that guy, is he? Come on, kill that guy. Shoot him. Hit him two more times, sir. Thank you. Okay. Did we get through? Nice! We got him right before he did. Oh, and the double reward. Oh, the double reward, man. Oh, the double reward feels good. You could run this ship out of missiles and then train evade. Oh, really? Um, the problem is he... He probably hits us at 92% dodge a couple times. So I don't, I don't, I don't think I like the running out of missile strat. 
Did you see right that I'm only in Sector 5? Correct. We're, we actually are only in Sector 5. If that's something to say that's good about this run. Doing better micro now. Thank you, Zach Dog. Hopefully it's good enough to get us over the finish line. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't like the running out of missiles when I'm at eleven health and only ninety two percent dodge. Oh my god, another solar flare with three borders. Oh come on, please don't be in my piloting or my doors, please. Okay, it's humans. It's not Mantis. Thank God it's not Mantis. That is, what is that? Three solar flares and an asteroid field or two that we've had this sector? Give me a break from goddamn solar flares game. For the love of God, could you please? All right, a store before we leave the sector is kind of nice, even though I don't get Kazakh. The reason Mantis attack with the Fury of a Thousand Suns is that their se sectors literally have thousands of suns in them. Yeah, sounds about right. There's Zoltan Shield Bypass. Wow. Wow, are we actually going to have the good boarding setup? Are we actually going to have the good boarding setup after the craziness of this run? You know how many crew do you know? Okay. How are we doing on drone parts? Nine? I actually think I might not need to buy any here. I wish they had backup battery. I would buy that if they had it. I'm repairing a lot this run, but... Hopefully our... Full boarding setup will be playable. Is that a Mantis with, that, with a default name? Yes, it is. Okay, so I have to kill an auto scout. Um, let's see, looks like he's got multiple offensive drones potentially. To make this fight safe, what do I do? Pack drones, board drones? Yes, I think so. We ever run out of drones? We might. I'm trying not to, but possible. Okay, for level three hacking, killing their drones. Very nice. Once I get their drones all the way down, I swap over to boarding shields and killing them with burst laser, I think. It's going to take them forever to actually repair their drones up to something that threatens us. With enough hacks, yes, you can run out of drones. And then we could, oh, we could evade train here, huh? That is an interesting idea. Do I do that? Am I patient enough to evade train while waiting for them to run out of drone part? I, there's no way I'm patient enough for that. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, I should do that, but I'm just not patient enough for it. I don't know how long it would take them to run out of drones, but... Even with how shitty this run's going, I'm still not patient enough for that. Ooh. 
Technically here, you can evade trading without needing that irritating method. Yeah, anything that's going to take a long, long time, I'm not patient enough. Just don't. I don't have it in me to do it. Even on a run like this, I can't see myself spending an hour on this one fight to get some training. Maybe I should be that guy to get the to get the streak. I just I can't do it. I can't be Mike. Holy crap! That ion could have just killed my clone bay right there. That could have just killed my clone bay. I think I can finish him now with just this. I don't have to do any more boarding. All right, maybe I will try to at least get a little bit of here. Okay, dodge is back up. I can I can at least get engines up to level two. You need to let them repair drones enough to have them active to blow up, so there'd be risks. Alternate method would be to wait until they're almost repaired to drones two. Board punch down. And time it so that they get back to drones too as you're punching. This way they never have a combat drone up. They never take hull damage. And their weapons keep firing. Then you let your crew suffocate without doing additional damage and repeat. Yeah, that sounds very complicated and I don't think I'm up for it. Alright. Only need one more dodge to have level 2 engines and I'll probably call this enough training. Five drone part uh, points, yeah. Yeah, these guys have pretty high level drone control. There it is. Okay. Strong or stronghold or civilian. Can we handle a bunch of rebel disruptors and stuff? Wouldn't it be easier to hack the drones as soon as it spawns and board at the same time? Hmm. We could try to look around. I, I don't even feel like I'm strong enough to deal with under construction flagship right now. They're crap weapons. We'd need we'd need third shield and hack missiles, and even then I think that's would be really difficult. Yeah, let's go civilian. Hope we can get some free stuff or something. This run is like making my entire body tense up right now. And I need I need something to help. Um, we have the Zoltan Shield Bypass. That's right, free stuff. That is right, free stuff. Okay, this guy's gonna be running. Let me think about what I hack here. Normally I'd insta say weapons, but what if I board heal bay, hack heal bay? While he's running, I feel like that makes the fight go faster. And I have level two cloaking. His weapons, how do his weapons time out? Nine seconds and 13 seconds. They don't time out super well. If I hack weapons here, I can double board and stuff. There are two borders in the naughty step above engines. Naughty step. Uh, means opening all the doors and doing sh crazy shenanigans. I'm I'm not gonna do that. I am. I'm gonna board. I'm gonna board. Heal bay. Hack heal bay.
God, is that the first free crew I've gotten this run? It feels like it. It feels like that's the first. No, I got a free Zoltan. Second free crew this run, I think. For a run where we've been literally boarding the entire run, it feels really weird that I've gotten two free crew the entire run. Feels really weird. No, I bought I bought the rock dude, and did I get the mantis for free? I think I bought both these crew. I bought the rock after I lost my two slugs to a beam taking out my clone bay at a solar flare or some fight where I was fighting and just check the VOD. Just check the VOD. Uh, Mantis. Who requested the Mantis? Yeah, the th uh, Thunder Mantis. Yeah, sorry. I apologize. I missed that earlier. I'm having a hard time focusing this run. There's so much to micro, man. Only, uh, only pawn. Zack Dog requested for it to be a Grima first. I'm sorry. We can get you as the next human if you just remind me or the next whatever. Give it to only pawns. Okay. All right. Fine. There. You're not sure if you can suffer through this run twice. <laughs> that makes two of us. Stores. What do we want from stores? I feel like I want weapons to kill the boss. So I don't have to only kill him through boarding. I already have bypass, so all we need is weapons, I guess. Did a couple of YouTube requests, both are wins, hoping this helps. Okay. Heal Bay. God, this is gonna be so obnoxious fight to do. I'm on backup battery, so he's gonna get back, isn't he? Nope, we killed one of them. Okay, that's good. Come on, Rockman, you're so slow. Get over there. I think he finishes his fight, and you know what? Let's send him some help to make sure. Good. Okay. Yeah, backup battery. Also need battery from the store. Good reminder. We definitely need that. Right, you go refresh. You go be there. Agreement gets mentioned all the time. Give another human the chance. True, true. Bomb would be nice. Yeah, yeah. A breach bomb two would be ideal for killing <sighs> heal base, clone base, and that kind of thing. That would be nice. We did sell our Artemis earlier to. I forget. I think to get Result Shield Bypass or something. No, it doesn't feel like a swiggity sand swaggity sensor run. Oh, that that's devil damage in my doors. Thanks, FTL. Thanks for free hole damage, that becomes extra fucking hole damage. Appreciate it, game. Because you haven't beat us in the ass enough this run yet. 
we really do deserve to get beat in the ass some more today. Hack through a medbay was very effective. Yeah, it's probably safer to do the weapon hack there, but I just I wanted to end the fight earlier there on that heal bay hack thing. Yep, it's one of those runs. Okay, store. You got like a flak and a heavy laser or something I could make use of? No backup battery. A burst laser too and a heavy laser. It's good. Can I afford to do that? Nietzsche, thank you for tier 3 52 months, my friend. Holy shnikes, that's amazing. Can we buy that? Can I afford to buy the heavy laser? Can I afford, afford to not buy the heavy laser? Should I buy an NG instead? I mean, we are still a boarding ship. You think I should w ignore weapons? I'm sorry, Sleeping Dragon. I... no. No, I know we're doing boarding strats on the boss, but I still want Phase 2 and 3 not to take a year. Because I don't think we're going to be able to get Force Shield. I think maybe I don't get the Heavy Laser. Maybe I just do the Burst Laser. Heavy laser side grading? No, it's huge. It's a huge upgrade and cheap to upgrade into. But I think buying one burst laser is probably even maybe more than I should have done. God, I want to do it anyway, though. Because um, I could kill the boss easily with that build. I'm buying both of them. I know we're a boarding ship, and that's maybe not needed, but... Enemies currently have three or four shields. Burst laser plus heavy accomplishes nothing. I'm not buying it for the fights right now. I'm buying it for the boss. I'm buying those for the boss. And empty chat was. Now it's really no point going to the store. Is this does this connect? Okay, it does. Probably get eight jumps here, though. I want to buy fuel if I do that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this not because I'm converting to a gunship right now. I'm doing this so that after phase one and we crew kill everybody, we will be able to finish the boss fight not in a year while taking a bunch of damage. Because I doubt I ever get enough scrap to be super tanky to have a really long boss fight. So I think my next goal is third shield, and then we start transitioning into weapons for phase two and three of the boss fight. That's my plan. Although maybe there's a safe way to kill the boss with just boarding phase two and three. I just, I don't know that I know that strat very well. The only reason I would sell burst laser one is if I'm giving up on doing any shooting at the boss, and I just don't think I ever do that. That's fine. It's a really weird fight. Uh, he's got I lock all his crew in here and me not able to do anything to them. This guy has all of the freaking crew. I think I actually need to build a heal day next time, rather than weapons. Just the doors close. Ooh. 
I need to go here and kill that. Poking ready for the next one. Let's get through here. I think I need more borders. I'm not finishing this with a level 2 heal day. Okay, two down. Okay. This should do it. I think this will do it. Should have bought ourselves enough time to go here. We cloak this next shot. There it is. There it is. All right, man. Annoying micro, but we got there. We got there. Does this human have any training? Shields. Um, sorry. We need you to be refreshed for boarding. Yeah, we already have Zoltan Shield Bypass, so I didn't get the weapons for getting through Zoltan Shield quicker. I got the weapons so that I can kill the boss in Phase 2 and 3 without only boarding. You can zero damage a flagship with no weapons at all with Zoltan Shield Bypass. Yeah. I need to practice that. I don't know how to do that off the top of my head. Because... I don't know how you take zero damage phase three um, unless it involves level three cloaking or something. It does involve level three cloaking, yeah. You don't need to practice. Uh, Samath, I do need to practice if I'm going to try to do that strategy. Right, how many gems do I have? Four nebulas gets me eight. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, so I can get all these jumps. All right. The amount of damage you should ever take from the damages within the first two surges. Yeah, I understand that, but you can't cloak the first missile and the first surge unless you get super perfect exact timing. Um, you you can't get the missile down before that first missile fires. You'd need level three cloak, I think, for the first missile to maybe buy yourself time. I don't know. I just I'm not going to talk about that right now. I have too much shit to concentrate on right now to be talking about new strategies I've never done. So. I'm trying to be greedy and not do any uh, drone part usage here. What the yeah, hell? I gotta hack it then. Uh, maybe I didn't. Uh, yeah, with a rock dude, I did. Oh, yes, give me the NG. Give me the NG. Nice. Freaking nice. Uh, Stephen Dragon was talking about zero damage. You're just talking about winning the fight outright with smacking down systems. Yeah, I understand how that would work, but I still don't trust me in trying doing that when a single missile double fire could end any of those kind of strategies or something. Phase 3 strat for no damage, result in shield bypasses. Do board missiles immediately. Level 3 cloak the missile surge at the last moment. Also cloak the power surge. Then they finish punching down missiles. Level 3 cloak goes. Gets both missiles plus power surge about 80 to 90% of the time. So it's actually not 100% what you're describing. It's only 80 to 90% of the time it would actually be zero damage fight. I don't I don't trust that right now for sure. Let me actually save you here. Remember when crew was a real problem? Pepper's Farm remembers. Yeah, the best question. Is it better to have hacking level 2 or cloak in shop? I don't, I don't understand that question. I, I, I'm sorry, Sword Art. I have no idea how to answer that question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
two, three, four, five. We can almost get our third shield here if that's what we want to do next before weapons. Buy hacking and hacking level two or cloaking. If I have the option to buy both hacking and cloaking, I'm doing that every time, Sword Lord. If that's what you're asking. An auto scout. I don't have power. I need to move you to Clone Bay right now. Oh god. Oh, okay. Oh my god, double beam drones, okay. Okay, ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, I think we're safe. Thank God there wasn't a Combat 2 drone hidden in there. Uh, don't turn this back on, please. Let's go here. Let's just keep the weapons down first. Let's get you back over here. Describe the stress that I feel doing runs like this, man. Like the tightness in my neck. Just, uh, it's so freaking stressful. I cannot describe how stressed out I get by runs like this. Yes, I lost two slugs on this run, I did. Got value points and shields, because you know, why wouldn't he? Stress is too damn high. Uh, I think he's asking if you'd rather buy a hacking upgrade or once or get cloaking. Uh, okay, I, hopefully I answered your question. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. Hypothetical questions about what I would choose to do in FTL are not something I can focus on right now. I have to play this stupid video game and not die. So, I'm sorry, hypothetical questions are too much brain power that I cannot spare. Rand, would you rather have a Smars bar or a Three Musketeers bar? I, I don't know, I'd like to win FTL, please. That's what I would like. That's what I would like right now. Schnozberries taste like schnozberries. The FTL tastes like pain and burning and death and dismemberment. All right, I don't really need the board anymore if I can not let them repair that. Okay. Okay. Kind of zoned out. Based on what I see, assume we're going to upgrade weapons next. Uh, I'm going to get... Oh, a sec. I got to fucking focus, man. This island back down. Okay. I don't know. Uh, watch the VOD. Check the VOD, Dark Fawful. Check the VOD. That's all I got right now. Okay. Okay, alright. Uh, shields and power, and then probably weapons.
All right. Oh, one, two, three, four. We still have a whole other sector. This run is going to take probably like four hours, man. This is crazy. Winning this run should be a minimum two, G, two cookie GG cookie time. True, true. But we're not there yet. Uh, when a fight starts going sideways like that, boarding drone and engines and O2 getting hit, that's a nasty feeling on no pause. Are you talking about what happened to us earlier in this run? I think we did have something like that earlier in this run. Yay for free crew. Um, Maloney actually has training on shields, so I'm going to put the human on doors. Sorry, silly device. You're not a true silly device, not on this boarding run. I need to have the training where I have it right now. Start going towards weapons and power next. How long did the first one take? It was only a two hour run. It was a fast, fairly clean run for Fed A, and this run we're closing in on three now, and we still have a whole sector, two sectors to go. Oh, it's Grima time. Okay, it's Grima time. <laughs> Thank you all for coming for Grima while he's not here. Ah, free borders. Okay. I'm refresh you so you don't get training. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna refresh these guys. Even though we have a couple jumps where I know I'm not going to be boarding since we're going to the exit beacon, but I still want to get these guys at full health. Grima, when we invite you on the ship, we didn't say you could invite your human friends. <laughs> Go away, humans. Go away. You are not welcome here. Okay, we are at seven drone parts. Still pretty much full onboarding build currently. Oh, and that's our choice, a Zoltan or Rock. We have Zoltan Shield Bypass. I really don't want to deal with Zoltan Border Police though. This sucks. This is not good choices. We have protection of rock live mine with clone bay, but cloaking plus missiles is always a pain in the ass. I think I have to go rock here. Yeah, we have Zoltan Shield Bypass. Problem is, even with Zoltan Shield Bypass, we can't hack past Zoltan Shield, so we're taking whatever missiles hit us before we get through the Zoltan Shield with our weapons. I guess we can cloak to the first missile on rock ships and then hack afterwards so i think we go rock here it's two guaranteed stores both sectors so choosing rock seven the warship event uh you're talking about the rock homeworlds event yeah i can i don't think i want i mean it's free repairs the main big reward from that i don't think i care about that we just need scrap, because I need to upgrade two more weapon power, power, teleporter, dodges, lots of power, 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 power. I'd like to get back a battery this sector if at all possible. My weapon sucks a lot. Uh, if I get them online, they won't. Damn it, I'd love to take that, but I can't give away three drone parts right now. Can I disrespectfully decline and say, hey, I'm trying to save this damn universe. Could you give me a break and help me out? I'm on that. Alright, so the first one is the guaranteed ship fight. Is that correct? The bottom one is a chance at crew. The top one is a guaranteed ship fight. That's freaking double missiles right here. As long as he has heal day, it's a guaranteed fight. Okay. I think 
Okay, might need weapons to get his heal bay down, maybe? Is that correct or not? Oh, come on, man, you. these fucking dodges. What the F? Secondary borders, I need to send them. Now well, the mantis is up, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, cloaking will be up. God fucking damn it, game! What the actual fuck? Getting lots of practice on cloaking plus hacking, making us safe this run, that's for sure. Nice. 68 scrap. That is it's juicy. That's juicy scrap. Oh, you don't have every event memorized, but you got a few things in the brain at least. Okay. Okay. 68 scrap. Venting part IDK can't count that high. Okay. No store. My main goal is stole, store for backup battery and getting weapons online. Oh my god, my stores are going to be up in this. One, two, three, four, five forced jumps up there. Oh my god, what a shitty layout to go with this shitty sector. Second boarding party was here, was huge, yeah, 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 for sure. Do I have anything to sell right now? I do have a beam drone to sell. So I can still hoard back a bad if I do that. I can have some weapons up if I want to do some shooting, potentially. I can depower them if I want to just cloak. Is that how I want to do things? 10, 9, 8, is there a way to do this? One, two... One, two, three, four... That wouldn't be five. Five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten... No, if I get this and nine... I kind of don't want to go to this forced bunch of jumps up here. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two... Okay, yeah, we can do it that way. And if I see a store up there, I'll go there. Counting with Rand, best part of the Rand stream. Apart from the cursing. Ah, oh, damn. So do I do? Uh, do I want to do the solar flare ship fight? Is the main question because I don't care about the free repair. I don't think. Do I do this so it's a guaranteed ship fight? I can go there and board them. Ugh, I don't want to fight them in a solar flare, but. It is a guaranteed ship fight, and I just kind of need to gain scrap right now. So it's default rewards, I think my copy said earlier. All right, I think I'm going to at least see where it puts it on the map. Right next to us, okay. So if I immediately go to the fight... Problem is, their ship, it's always this rock assault ship that's going to have a lot of crew with a heal bay and probably insane weapons. So if I let them board and then I board and hack their weapons, will that pull the pilot? I could probably pull the pilot with some... 
<sighs> Safety dance strats. Gonna want to prevent for wherever the rocks board. Yeah, I know it'll be running, so I'm gonna have to pull the pilot somehow. How many crew are they gonna have? One, two, three. Only four crew, actually. That's not terrible. Thinking about hacking their heel bay and boarding their heel bay here. If I hack weapons... Hmm... So he's gonna board me and I gotta board him. Anywhere I board is gonna pull the pilot because he's gonna board with two. And I'm gonna board with two and that'll pull the pilot. The thing that I'm worried about is sitting here and taking a bunch of solar flares in the meantime. Do I think I have en enough dodge to dodge the two heavy laser twos? You know what? I could probably shoot heal bay if I board, if I board hacking since I have two burst lasers on mine. So I will hack weapons, board weapons, burst laser their heal bay while dealing with the borders, I think. guys up here. Oh my god, that's level 3 cloaking, isn't it? Fire up there. I need the extra borders. Oh, messed up. Okay, they didn't kill my clone bay. Oh, they fixed it. God, I don't have enough power again. I need to f stop that. We'll fix that. Okay. Oh, there's a fire somewhere on my ship. It's not in my systems. Refresh. Refresh. Actually, don't refresh. What if uh, we get a solar flare in here? So, Rock, you are not going to be boarding to start. We're going to board with you two. I still hear the fire. It's got to be in this room here. Okay, all right. I got scrap, good. Okay. I see a store, I'm not going to it yet. So, this, uh, free borders, plus boarding, plus cloaking, plus heal bay. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> boarding, plus fucking boarding, plus bonus boarding. Okay, good, his location is good for us. Yeah, heal, his heal bay is fucking still online right now. Uh, I need to board with some dudes that have health. Who has health? Like, freaking none of you do. Power. 
hack these up. Uh, get back to your positions, Jesus. I need to... I need... Oh, two. I don't have enough fucking power. God damn it, man. I have no fucking power. I can't do shit. I'm goddamn panicking. Okay, we can cloak. God fucking damn it, game. What the actual fuck? Could you run out of fucking missiles so my life could not flash before my eyes anymore? Oh, they can't fucking kill anybody right now, man. Just, I don't have fucking power. How do I fucking finish this goddamn fucking fight? I'm just, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Go to the store. I can't kill these fuckers. Goddamn double missiles cloaking. Fucking heel bay. Get me the fuck out. Get me the fuck out of this fucking shitty game, man. I cannot tell you all how much relief I will have when I finish this goddamn run and just not be playing this shitty game anymore today. I am so goddamn stressed right now. God damn it, man. I don't have enough power for my shit. Give me the goddamn backup battery, please. <sighs> I need to have enough to take out fucking heal bays and weapons with my wep with my weapons right now. Like, the level 2 hacking, level 2 cloaking does jack shit if I can't take their heal bay offline, and they have 4 crew and cloaking every run, so I feel like I have to do this. Oh my god, I thought this fucking connected. God damn it. Excuse my language. I am not having a good day of FTL. I am honestly having one of the worst days of FTL for a while right now. I took zero damage with all that. It doesn't feel like it. I feel like I'm at like half health. <laughs> I hate to say it, we can't go scrap recovery arm. Oh god. Darn. I mean I came to rock. Homeworld, so I don't have to deal with Zoltan Border Police, but I swear that every goddamn rock ship with level 3 cloaking and fucking missiles is driving me insane. These fucking ships, man. These fucking ships. Literally every fucking ship with cloaking... How did you dodge everything? Literally every fucking ship with this bullshit. Every fucking ship with this bullshit, man. And his fucking missile's somehow back online. We somehow shot down his missile, I think. Somehow his shit will not go offline. Give me a fucking break with these fucking weapons! Get the fuck out of here, missile! Jesus Christ. Okay. 8,000 fucking shots to get that shit offline. Can you tell I'm having a rough day, chat? Can you tell? Clone bay down, okay.
I need them to stop repairing the clone bay. No, well that didn't do it. Oh, 100% dodge when they have nobody on fucking piloting. Amazing. Amazing. Super balanced. There. No more repairs, please. Okay. Now I think this fight is over. RPG Nerd is having a great day. That's good. Well, I have four drone parts left. Oh man, this is, I'm just, every single fight feels like getting a root canal on top of a cactus enema with some freaking oatmeal raisin cookies on the side. That's, that's what every single fight feels like right now. We're still in it? Yeah, somehow. We're somehow still in this root canal enema of a run. You can go for some oatmeal raisin cookies? Okay. I need power. Like, I'm just... I'm, I'm, the, the hacking micro plus the cloaking micro plus the teleporter micro plus the power micro plus the, all the other things just so overwhelming. Hey, you know we've had rock ships with cloaking and a missile. Why not fucking slug ships? You know, why not? Um... Alright, um... I said I was gonna hack heal day. This is a breach missile, which cloaking refreshes every time on breach missile, if I'm not mistaken, so... I am going to hack Yield Day here. Oh, come on, man, these fucking dodges. Good. All right. <laughs> Poor humans getting vented over and over, even though they're not my main boarding crew. Don't diss oatmeal cookies. Too late. Already did it. Oatmeal cookies are the redheaded stepchild of chocolate chip cookies. You think you're getting chocolate, and then you get raisins. It's like thinking you're about to get a nice, cool, clear drink of ice water. Vodka, right right to the back of the throat. <coughs> oh, I'm dying! That's, that's what it is. I made that look easy, thank you. I only have three drone parts left. We need a couple repair stations next sector. Mmm, vodka, yum, yes. Five crew, okay, no cloaking, only a flak too. Can I do this without hacking? Well, the heal bay, I don't think so. Let's have teleporter. Probably should just hack weapons, but with a heal bay, I... I don't think I want to. I think I'm gonna just do this. Let's do it Freaking heal they hack every time. Heal is dead. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Don't run away. Zolt needs your help still.
Uh, humans. Okay, humans, go board. Help these guys out. Finish that off. Yeah, I think we're good. And I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to lose some of your training here. Can't have you at one health. Oatmeal cookie is like the fun cousin of chocolate chip. Sure, maybe they aren't as glamorous, but damn, they hit the spot. <laughs> okay, well played, well played. The idea is to take something delicious and unhealthy and make it unpalatable and unhealthy. <laughs> you feel like it's been a while since you've seen a slug ship in a random streak, huh? Well, you should go back and check the VOD. This, this run has been a roller coaster of emotions. Oh, we're going on three and a half hours soon. This, I don't know if we'll quite hit four hours, but it's going to be close to a four-hour run, man. Which might be a record for my FTL hormonopause runs. I don't know if I've had a run take that long. But I can remember. Has really been a roller coaster. The emotions have been all bad. <laughs> hey, we've laughed a couple times, or at least I have. I mean, I don't need the fuel. I'm at the end of sector seven. Sixty scrap for three fuel. I couldn't have asked for a better deal. Relief at the end will be great. Yes, yes. I am going to turn into a puddle of relief soup when this run is over. God fucking damn it, game! What the actual fuck? Somehow the missile goes down, then comes up, then comes down, then comes up. Of course, you keep the only two weapons that require consumables. Of course, you do. Fuck you, man. And of course, you fucking hit my weapons with your one fucking shot. Okay, we can dodge the next missile. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Wait for the hacking to be up here. No more weapons allowed, sir. Good dodge, good dodge. I'm gonna let him do that damage. The biggest issue, man. I gotta pee. I've been doing this run for four hours. I gotta go to the bathroom. I haven't had my break. I need a pee break, man. But I don't want a pee break in the middle of a run, so. If only there was some kind of cycling tactic you used to prevent the missiles from damaging you. Yes, yes, if only, if only. But I would like this fight to not take an hour as I wait for my five shots, six shots to get through three shields on an, astro on an auto scout. What a good stretch day where President Rand was out cursing past Rand. Nice. All right, please have a repair station. All right, looks like we have a good chance. All right, my weapons aren't amazing, but we have boarding build. So, um, we don't need fourth shield because we have cloaking. We don't have the Microsoft counter for phase three, but that's okay. This is a double reward, potentially, here. Um, I'm actually going to do the shield hack here. Hopefully I got the uh, boarding drone offline. I did not, damn. I would take one damage there, but we should be getting a... Uh... Oh, wow, that guy got insta-killed. Should be getting a repair station. 
We did get breached. I don't have level 202. That was a freaking good reward, man. Holy crap. How much scrap did we just get from that? Holy scrap, how much scrap? I think it was over 100. I didn't see the exact number. Remember, Rand, it isn't healthy to hold it in at your age. No, oh, rude. Now, this run's almost over. For good or ill, it's almost over. We got 143 from that? Is that right? Holy crap. Sending you energy for your spirit bomb. Thank you. Is that a... Not Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho reference? I did not mean to get level 3 cloaking. I thought that was teleporter. It's okay. I totally meant to do that. I was at 66. Now I'm at 182. Okay. It was a hundred and some crazy high number. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. <laughs> totally. All right, we got the one repair station. We should be good. All right, I would like to get back a battery if we can. You remind viewers that a while ago at a store, people were quite certain that weapons were bait. True, true. There were some folks who said that weapons were bait. I, I don't, I don't know. What I'm more reminded of is how close we were to just death earlier. So. The fact that we were alive from this run where I had both of my borders killed in like Sector 3 and I had crap for weapons, I'm just happy we're alive. We probably could kill the boss without the weapons in those people's defense. Okay, thank you for not being free hole damage. Um, I can get the weapon value after Phase 1. Is there anything else I need? I don't think there's anything else I need, but I'd like the weapon value before phase two and three, so. All right, the plan here. Normal boarding strats. Hack missiles. Board ion. Then board whatchamajigger. Beam with these two guys. These guys are gonna be my secondary boarders. Try to shoot missiles, but that's not needed. It's not uh, required. Then hack and cloak. The worst, the worst hacks are, I actually think hacking and teleporter. I think are the worst hacks. Although shields and or piling would be annoying. Hopefully, we have one safe place to jump back to. If we get the teleporter or hacking hack. Uh, sword art. No, I'm not going to do that. That's not the strat. When we have teleporter. And hacking, we always hack missiles and board other things and then board missiles. That's the play. Please hack sensors or doors or something. Engines, we take. We take that. The engine hack does kind of suck, because that means missiles could hit us during the hack. Man. Oh, oh, man. Okay, that is on fire. That is not good. There. Subscribing Inanna Hall. Thanks for subscribing to the channel Inanna Hall. Uh. Alright, alright, just get over here. I can't hit the damn thing. I don't know why I keep trying. Because I'm I'm used to having better weapons even when we're boarding, I think. Okay, two down.
Oh, the dodge check. Okay, it's fine. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Let's see if I can get a hit here before I board. Nice! The double fire, so good. The double fire is so good. Actually, I guess I'll just have you hang out in there. This, uh, the rock dude's gonna keep them from being able to do anything for a while. Just fight me in a double fire. Okay. Oh, that's so good. The double fire is so stinking good. Feels good to be alive. I agree. I agree. I can wait for them to put out that fire. Then we board on these guys. Sure. Sure. Let me do this. Okay. Your crew killed almost. I know. I know. It's like I planned it. It's like I planned it. Spoiler alert, chat. I planned it. Spoiler alert. I did actually plan for it to happen this way. Right, that should kill the last dude. So I actually want to board on shields. There. All right, missiles are never getting repaired, so that's good. Okay. Good shiznit. It is good shiznit. It is good stuff, man. If we can win this run, this will be the best comeback we've had in probably a couple months at least. those guys anymore. Good phase one. Good phase one. Doors are so tanky. Yeah, I think they become manned level three doors once you kill all their crew or something. Four damage. Not ideal, but not bad. Should be a zero damage phase two. Uh, maybe. I need to cloak. I think I'm going to level... I think I'm going to higher level cloak. Am I... Or maybe I just cloak late on the... I feel like sometimes when I cloak on the drone phase, it doesn't last long enough, and we take damage on the last, like, drone volley. Is there any value to cloaking earlier at a higher level on phase two? Uh, Mike and Sleeping Dragon, do you all ever do different level of cloaking phase two? Do you have the timings down? I'd like to take no damage phase two if at all possible. Because we're obviously going to insta-board missiles. They'll, they won't get any missiles off on us. Then we're going to hack shields. I don't know with this weapon system if I kill them fast enough to not get a second phase two overcharge or not. I think it's hard because after the first wave, the cloaking isn't always timed up. It can sometimes do that. Your strat is to let the drone spawn, settle around the ship, and then cloak it. That's harder on no pause on level one. Okay. That's kind of what I try to do is I, I don't insta-cloak when the drones appear. I wait for them to appear, go out, and then cloak. I think I'm going to try to do that. Get the weapon value I was talking about earlier. So that's, That'll be the plan here. Let's open the doors because we do have a boarding drone to deal with. Okay, yeah, we don't follow in phase two, we follow in phase three. I want to not make any stupid bad misplays. Actually, it doesn't matter who we board with for system damage, so we're going to leave the rock to deal with the boarding drone. All these guys kill the missiles. I think that's better. I 
I normally hit the uh, cloaking timing well. Hopefully I will. Fire, let's get piloting down. Beautiful. Now. Okay, that timing was good. Okay. Uh, back over here. Okay. Tank him. Okay, one more shot we need. Hoping will not be up. Finish him before the thing. Okay. Took a little bit of damage there. That the second uh I feel like the second drone phase was a little earlier than I was hoping, but still only one damage phase two, I'll take it. Only one damage, not too bad. We can live with that. Now we got the mind control shenanigans. 34 gets me probably its sensor value and that's all right. I don't have sensors. <laughs> we never bought sensors this run, that's right. Because we've been behind forever. Okay. We have Zoltan Shield Bypass, so... This guy takes forever to run from the clone bay, so I'm going to have these guys live in the clone bay. I have a lot of value points here. You guys live in this cloaking. How about that? Then we hit enter. And we send two people into the teleporter instantly to get missiles down. This right here is why you like having some weapons. Yeah, phase three. I must say, Rand, this comeback was epic with a capital F. Well, it's not over yet. There's nothing I get with 34 scrap, right? One away from the power. Okay. They can't mind control your pilot. I know, Sword Art. You keep saying things that it's almost like I planned it. It's almost like we kept a slug on piloting the whole time on purpose for this very reason. It's amazing. It's amazing. Well, I guess I'm just lucky. Not even that good. You meant the phase two that you were able to kill shortly after surge two. Oh, that's why you like having the weapons. Gotcha. Okay, it is the rock. That's great. You want the extra human to go here. This. Uh, we just let him hit that. We don't cloak the first missile. Fuck this game. Okay, it wasn't a triple hit, just a double hit. It's gonna be a long phase two. These weapons are not getting through quickly. Okay, missiles are down at least. There it is. Um, get another border over there. That is, whoa, that's actually kind of bad. Hope I bought time for them to kill that before it came back up. Beautiful. Frickin' beautiful. The comeback, the comeback is real, chat. The comeback is real. <sighs> One more shot. I don't have cloaking up for this. It's fine, it's fine. G, frickin' G, the frickin' three and a half hour run. Oh my god. I need a cookie and a cigarette and a shower and a... I don't know, something else after that. Frickin' Slug B, man. Thought that run was over when we lost our two crew boarding crew. 5508, I can't believe how high that score was. No, I don't smoke. <laughs> Thank you.
I feel like this doesn't really tell the story of that run. Somewhere around in here when we lost our crew, that became a very, very sad time. Thank you, Jesna. I appreciate it. You can't even buy me a drink because I wouldn't drink it. True. Let's talk about curry. Um, We've been going for about five and a half hours and about three and a half of those were on this run. I think I'm not going to talk about curry or play any other video games. I was hoping to check out Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. We'll have to do that next week or something. But my friends, I got to crash after that one. That was, that was a feels good win and a feels bad run with how much pain we went through, but... You can win through bad stuff, chat. You can. Tim Tam, thank you for the 18 months in a row of subage. I missed that earlier. I'm going to call it there because I need to crash after that run. Thank you all for being supportive. That was a rough one. And I hope I didn't yell at chat too much for that one. So, my friends, I'm going to call it a day. Tomorrow we'll play some uh, WoW Hardcore Classic. Maybe I'll play some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor tomorrow if I feel like it, but... Uh, we survived. So, as always, thank you all for all the support. Does anybody new to the stream? Please hit the follow. Join us again. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do more of this crazy saltiness. But we're alive. We're alive with six in a row, I think, after today. Six in a row feels good after those runs. So, as usual, thank you for the bits, the follows, the subs, gives, the subs, lurking, hanging out, all that amazing stuff. I will be back tomorrow, Unk Funk. But if you mean for FTL, it'll be next Tuesday. So, you all have a great night. Peace out, happy gaming, enjoy this sea shanty. I'll see you all next time. Later, my friends.